All right, so we're back. I think this uh, for YouTube will be episode three, um, day two of the game being launched. So I probably have a billion notifications. Claim a bunch of stuff. Oh, claim. Why does it do it that way? Uh, friends. Cool. We got a friend. Wait. Let's let's look at your stuff. Wait. Where'd that go? Ah, friends. Level are you? Level 29? Holy. Level 15 Trailblaze? You've been using the stuff to pump your character, haven't you? What's this new stuff? Global tour. Uh, something, something departing. I, oh, I think that's them actually having like a physical in real life location. You think my volume is a little loud? So the game volume or my personal microphone volume? Stuff. The microphone volume? Okay, let me turn that down. Yeah, I'll put it to minus seven, just like everything else. Maybe that'll be better. It also depends like where I'm looking at everything, because I have a stand mic. So th these items here are the ones that I grabbed from the express thing for the pre uh, pre game stuff. Finally accepted it. Not sure what all this stuff's from though. What is this? Oh, Twitch drops. Yeah, Twitch drops are enabled, so if you haven't gotten them all, watching will. Uh... Alright, I think I got all my notices done. So we're going to Warp Drive. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? Uh, sure. The universe. The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? The Stellaron thing in my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. I had to turn when the volume down on my end because it was blowing out my ears. The ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rescued from the ice? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Oh, yeah. Himeko and Mr. Yang, and who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Interesting. I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? <laughs> MC's just like, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Is he looking at the camera right now? Ah, I swear he's breaking the, the fourth wall. Oh, never mind. The express has reached a safe he's distance at him. from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. Ten Turn minutes. Seat, Both of you. Things could get bumpy. We're currently seated, uh, sir. Thanks, pom pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. 
Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself and falls over every time. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Oh, don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. Oh, yeah? Thanks. Good luck. I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. The key is using your core, waist, and leg muscles. It's not your stance that matters, but your ability to ride the inertia. Well, sure. don't mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. Sounds like she's crazy. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, well, if you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. I mean, I'm sure many, many uh, scientists now, would love to know the mechanism. Because we don't have warp technology Remember yet. To close your eyes. It helps if you figured it out, Mihoyo, please let us know. Our next stop is a small planet called Urelo 6. Uh, yeah, okay, Urelo. It's been thousands of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The thousands? The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. I feel like that's foreshadowing for it's going to be but completely destroyed. Time, it's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. Oh, the champ's spot on. Uh, do I bother go talking to what's-his-face? Nah, Dan, uh, he can be a shut-in all he wants. We're going on the sofa. Hold on tight and wait for the jump to finish. Hello? Hello, hello? <clears throat> all passengers, please return to your seats. <laughs> She's actually train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. Those chess pieces are not going to stay still, right? Please tell me March is on her ass right After now. All those oh, millennia. She's not. Is this what Urelo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Huh? Who broke it? Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. Oh. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The bad guys. Oh, was clicking The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run. As always. The thing inside me. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Oh, finally, what is a Stellaron? Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. Well, that's helpful. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. Do we blow it up? The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. I don't know what all of that means, but I'm hoping my baseball bat there will must be uh, an take care of it. connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. 
Our Probably. current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. You're like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights. Right! You finally get what we're all about. Pretty cool, huh? I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. And the other characters I've already pulled, right? The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! So we get to work as a team orb? again! Is it the last arc from Lost Ark? Still looking for that thing. Uh, yeah, you're not coming? I could use your Someone laser beams. Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Oh, I mean, sure. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. Nanook? Is that an Aeon? <sighs> so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. All right, so Dan is a Brainiac. Doesn't seem like the type, but... Don't judge a book by its cover, I suppose. Doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. Retching. You'll feel nice better once you get used to it. I feel fine. Mm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. Well, it says it was caused by Stellar. said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. Uh, by normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to okay. choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. But do they have s'mores? As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, so... I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be... liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. I right. keep keep reading this as Jurito, like the uh, the soda company. Or soda brand. <laughs> you should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. I mean, she was, like, literally right there. She's right there, dude. I, th I think we're ready. Jeez, Dan. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? We're like five feet from you. Did you not? Uh, yeah, he's really? full of enthusiasm. I find totally. That hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. I mean, sure. Well, are you ready? Just take a swig of water while I tell her you bet. When I first saw this planet. I thought, a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. I mean, hey, maybe you were frozen here. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. Six-phased ice? I don't think you can find it on your average planet. Might actually be your homeworld. We won't know unless we have a look ourselves. To be honest... I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. 
Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. Uh, okay. Figure as an ice user, you might be frost resistant, right. but. Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with that one. All right. Here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Urelo 6. We're here. I don't have the auto thing on anymore. <sighs> God, I gotta it really click. Really is one big snowball. It really is one big hey, snowball. Get your own metaphor. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Why didn't we land at the hmm. destination? Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykean Stadium, or shall I? Uh, yes. Please, please tell me stop more. Stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Uh, right. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. Not really. I said drop it. Depends. Do I get to hit things with a bat for community service? Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm oh, down. We know it's cold. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don... Mysterious uh, ice crystal? Uh, is what a six-phase means, I guess? He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. <laughs> she's got a mysterious past thing going. So if people start okay. creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. They're gonna regret my mysterious past. Uh, let's just make sure that we're not the ones creating trouble. No, no, they're going to regret it. So, how long does coffee catitis last? <laughs> oh, I think she said that because I kept copying her. Let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. That's great. I love how, like, your interactions actually seem to affect some of the dialogue in, like, more ways than one. Like that one NPC where uh, I said this something to him two missions before, and he brought it up later. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made. Sorry, Dan, had to interrupt you by hitting a thing with my baseball bat. A one-time enemy, blade in flight. <laughs> Better up. I don't have either of those elements. That's unfortunate. Let's see if I can freeze them. It's such a weird Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh. Uh. That looks like he didn't make it. <laughs> right through the chest. Calyx teleportation activated. Seems really out of place with the snow planes. Yeah, a little bit. Send a message to ask him. What is this? I love how you communicate with people via texting and pictures and stuff. Calyx, a strange entity born from the phenomenon of space distortion. There are some reality... Oh, reality data in the Calyxes that might come in handy, but please be careful when coming in contact with them. The existence of these calyxes is still a mystery to us, and the danger within is incalculable. In your coming journey, you might come across other calyxes like this, and the reality data stored in different calyxes may vary, so look out for that. Okay. Defeat enemies to obtain general materials? Huh? Is it like activate a fight or something? Experience materials credits? 
Scheme modes cost trailblaze power to play. Oh, okay. It's a daily thing. Or like a resin thing. Yeah, let's do one of those. Why not? Uh, I will challenge one wave to use ten. I don't know how fast it recovers. Um, physical ice. Fire that. They're much higher level than I am. I feel like I should use a support. Yeah, let's use your support. Add. Big heals. Um, maybe I should pump these guys a little bit. Like, at least make them level 10. I think that's at level 15. So this is either just going to murder me or it'll be a fun challenge. 11, 11, 30. I mean, that character's probably going to just carry, so... Let's see what happens. One every six minutes. So 60 minutes for 10 back? Okay. Um, why is it going to be the guys on the ends? Okay, well... This is our chance. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> uh, rules are made to be broken. And so are your spines, if you have spines. I don't think these things have spines. You these guys are supposed so to be level 15. Okay, what does she do? Restore and single target. So she's a healer. Listen, feel kick. You will know justice. Uh, I didn't kill either of them, so. In the name of Landau, the big old shield. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. Really? That didn't that uh, all? hit harder, man. Like five damage more. There you go. Blade in flight. What about this? Might be ten to your wounds. Huh? Yeah. So I my level eleven prepared. main character hits as hard as your healer at level thirty. Interesting. We'll do a second one. So, how many of my moves can you block? Just because it'll probably be too hard before I do something this like is this. Our chance. Yeah. You don't look so good. Uh. You will know justice. Freeze him. Spectre is this, huh? Distract. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never. Fall. Something tells me that Jeopard is going to be on this planet. Time for some sword play. Strike with heart. Practice is over. Swords descend! <laughs> Looks like somebody needs a hook. I hope you're prepared. Is that all? Team's combat. A one time great. enemy. Blade in flight! So flashy. So, how 
overcome any of my moves. Strike with heart! Okay. Oh, I have activated something. This thing. Do that. Is this dailies? No. Is this one? Navigation. Don't care. Okay. Feel like I should put on fire chick. You. She was AoE too, right? Oh no, she was Harmony. Eh, I'll try her. Actually, I actually haven't seen what her stuff does yet, so maybe it'll be able to be cool. Harmony's uh, buffer? Yeah. Uh, what kind of buffs? Extra damage. Speed. Okay. Give you a light cone. She already has a light cone. I already put that on her. Cool. Um, level up. Let's give you 10 levels. So you're caught up with everybody else. Alright. Uh, Keep at it. Give a jeopard a little bit there. Huh? You... No, I didn't see whatever you were trying to take my attention because there was something I could hit with my bat. They, this game really needs to understand that I like hitting things with my bat. So if I see things to hit, I'm gonna hit them. <laughs> uh, bones? Oh. That's an interesting staff. <laughs> a gift from the stars. This is She's a sorceress with meteors. It's all come full circle. That was actually the really useful cool because they all break. Okay. The camera kept snapping over to that. It's over here. Probably the next way to go. Can I break these? No? Okay. What's in the snow? There's a person in there. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Uh, Holding your breath won't help. <laughs> Just holds his breath. I got this, March. To stab him. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! Did he stab him? My fine fellow, oh. is that really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow Sir, you are very these days. purple. I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. Oh, he did actually put a spear in. That's great. He did exactly what I, I would have done. Don't make me hit you with a baseball bat. Don't, stop looking at me. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> you, sir, are suspicious Is as Kevin all hell. Is Jepard around? Uh, he, oh, hey. He's an old buddy of mine. I was right. This is going to be the planet where Jepard's from. The guy that's been fighting with you, you know? Even though you don't because it's a gotcha. Wait, you're not Silvermane guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. What are you, a resistance member? Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Sampo Koski. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Are you a treasure hunter or a thief? Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. So, thief. Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Thinks we're a thief. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. 
Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. <laughs> That's kind of funny. On how he uh, kind of reminds me of... Oh, I can't remember the name of the character. Anyway, is there something new about it? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can it's eke out an sense. existence is behind those impregnable walls. Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the silver main guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, Because though, you're a thief. Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in the snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. For doing what? You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. You keep lumping me in with you. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> To be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. It cost a spear. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silver Main Guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing a serious. Bomb? If it weren't for oh. the uncompromising nature nah, of our still looks like service, a there'd be no need for secrecy. It's a lantern, though. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Uh -huh. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Something uh, tells me they're the guards. You remember the silver main guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. Old friends. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. That was not the voice I was expecting out of that soldier for some reason. It's now or never. So, how many of my Over to you, dear friends. <laughs> hey, okay. You Swords descend. <laughs> well, these guys are a little bit too easy. Look out. Let's make it quick. This ends here. The die is cast. Time for some sword play. The name of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. Uh, rules are made Time to hit him with my bat. This is my favorite part. Blade in flight! 
A gift from the stars. You will know justice. <laughs> they both seem so much stronger in cutscenes. Kind of a bit of a badass, isn't he? Wait, am I about to have Japard fighting Japard? I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Uh, I still don't know what kind of weapon he has. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Uh, I refuse. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Everything is ordained Speed by the stars. Speed up time. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Ooh. That's pretty. Now, first thing that you gotta do in combat is hit him with your bat. Like this. I hope you're prepared. And then punch the him in the face. Cast. Just a scratch. Defense so, reduction. How many of my moves can you block? Blade Blade this guy. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> Stay focused. Siege support. Take courage. He just summoned an extra guy. And gave him a barrier. Well, you know what that means. Barriers are broken by You will know justice. Punch him in the face. Practice is over. Swords descend! Shoot him with swords. <laughs> Strike with heart. Look out. Our position is solid. Impressive. Oh. Let's make it quick. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit uh, dying. <laughs> It's all right though, because we have the ultimate again. I'm gonna break your legs. This ends here. The die is cast. I dishonored. Oh no. Uh oh. Chard really doesn't get his ultimate quick enough to be shielding people. Suspect? The one with the blue hair? Blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Are you talking about the purple hair guy? <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next Did move. Did he run off? Yeah, he As might be way longer, forever. I think. trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects. Not now. Take them away. Well, I'm already being put in jail. But we're not from Bellabog. Silence! What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their relics. We've never excavated anything like them before. And I haven't seen anything similar in our museums. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. 
They probably don't even call it your reload. say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. It kind of looks like the city from, uh, what is it called? Frostpunk? All their trailers? Is this, is this just Frostpunk? Yeah, they have cars. Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog they, remains uh, okay. forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He sure saying some weird stuff. Yeah. Sounds like the Mark planet was destroyed by fire and then like saved by ice. Record. Uh huh. So why is and he telling us all this? There's an Aeon that likes this town, so he, he keeps it know. warm. Uh, <laughs> Weird. Ever winter night. We oh. saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The there silver main button? guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I'd, I would like to consult you on this matter. Keep we are lacking in intel. I hit something that made me start walking. Here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. Klepoth Fort? Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. Hmm. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. Whoa. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog. Elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. So many oh, names that I'm like trying to take in? I will now bring you it's to see me. Madame Kakolia. Please, have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? You look You've fine. got some snow in your hair. 
but no one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Cacolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you- Hey, it's Bronya. She's one of the people <clears throat> you can summon. You may leave, Bronya. Cacolia? Visitors have arrived. Ugh. Yes, mother. Oh. She doesn't look too impressed with me. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors Leaves from beyond the Eternal space. Breeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. Water break. I'd be grateful <laughs> if you could tell me why you have come. Uh, well, you don't believe our identity, or don't doubt our identity? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself. <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. So, like, are these eons gods or something? Or are they just, like, regular beings of great power? I mean, I guess that's kind of the same thing, depending on who you're talking to. Uh, we've come to trailblaze this planet. That sounds like we're here to destroy it. We, we came here you. for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Elf their appearance the spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as fragmentum space corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. I haven't played the other Honkai games, but I'm really curious if, like, all of this lore is connected to them, and if all of this would be, like, completely understandable immediately from a player that has played all of it. Uh, Stellarons were cast by the Aeon of Destruction. Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. Let's go with that one. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds. But every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Kind of, but not at the same time. <laughs> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today but why should you care even if this stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster i fail to see its connection to you i don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them unless they had something to gain it's a fair You're point right. our reason for coming here is not purely selfless if we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Please, let yeah. us help you. FYI, we're pretty awesome. Oh boy. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well. Yeah, you just put you. it inside someone's if chest, it's easy. If our situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, 
Then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. It's getting late, and you must be tired. Is her I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Thanks. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Hmm. What was that noise? Oh. Interesting. Of course, I understand. Uh oh. Do not worry. I have a way. It's like uh, an Aeon talking to her to kill us? It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Well, that's good. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sights? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane guards stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Corrosion sounds like I can hit it with my bat, which means, uh, I'm happy. Is it never winter workshop? Oh, what are these guys doing? Like, waiting to see the queen or something? Nosy citizen. Say, the officer that you were speaking to, was that Jepard Landau? Aha, Jepard. It's not Geppard like I thought it might be. Uh, yeah. Oh, I knew it was him! I wasn't brave enough to go over. I, I should have tried to stop him. Captain Jepard is wise and decisive and of noble birth. I'm sure he'd help me. <sighs> hmm, what do you need help with? I'm getting ahead of myself. I already missed my chance. Back to the queue, I guess. <sighs> what am I gonna do? <sighs> Only the Madam Guardian can help me. I'm surprised all of these characters, these just random NPCs, are all voiced. This queue isn't moving. How long are we going to be here? Wait. I was attempting to talk to this one. Hey, you got a problem? If you want a petition, then start queuing. Don't even think about pushing in. Interesting. It's like a queue for... Jepard, or... Trash can, not remarkable in any way. Why can I touch it then? Uh, no, I'm opening it. They seem to turn before your very eyes. Wait, what? Edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over? From under the leg comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash can turn cans turn into treasure chests, and it's happening again. Take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap at the bottom. Your hand hard work paid off. Finally found the treasure. Look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. 
Don't need to explain, I get it. That urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you've walked down this path. Wait, what? It's an item? Avatar obtained from completing five hidden missions in Jerilo 6? Guys who can laugh at themselves usually have plenty of friends. Who are you cursing out? It's four star... What What is it though? Wait, is it like a friends list avatar? Oh, wrong button. Uh... Get rid of these real quick. Uh, here? Oh my lord. I will be a trash can. I dug in the trash. Can I go into it again? I'm torn up so evenly that you begin to wonder whether this world may have discovered paper shredding technology. Piece them back together. Yes. Countless paper scraps have become a wrinkled piece of paper. It was a letter from one citizen to another, but the radical content runs counter to standard notions of human hierarchy. Huh? Content is so scary that the letter disintegrates and drifts away on the wind as you finish reading it, never to be restored again. Alright then. <laughs> That's great. Oh, treasure. Treasure! I like treasure. Mailbox? Seems like the mailman just finished with it. it. Stands on the street all alone. Okay. Okay, where do I have to go? Over there, over there, and over there. Got it. Ooh, another trash can. Well, now we have to dig through them all. And wrinkled handwritten letters lying in the trash you can make uh, the following this will be our best price for valentine's flowers for the entire year take this chance to send your loved one some flowers considering all the cliched advertising this is pretty good oh, i'd be so mad if someone gave me this don't worry no one would <laughs> you're so hilarious i am thanks for noticing so are these like heaters it's not Really gonna heat a big area, but okay. Oh, who's Wallace? Pretentious man. Hey man, I've never seen you before. It's my first time here. Uh, needs to visit administrative district at least once in their lifetime. How would you be able to call themselves a citizen? Uh huh, uh huh. 25th head of the Leinstein family. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, Sure. Need someone in this district to get something done, come to him. Money is no issue, curiosity fuels me. Oh, he's gonna give me info. Are you rich? I'm comfortable. Okay. You're into ancient relics? You just like to own them. Okay. Particularly rare gold watch said it to be a relic left behind by the third Supreme Guardian. Okay. Offered him three houses for it? Yeah, you're not rich. Not at all. Newspaper seller. Today's paper hot off the press. Uh, sure. Oh. These are all collectibles. Well, I will buy them, good sir, but I do not plan to read them right now. Because that's a lot of extra menus and other stuff that I don't care for right now. Oh, what's happening? Oh, wow, look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. Yeah, it would melt I because they're supposed right. to be like internally it's warm. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Over where? Over here? Over there? Oh, let's... So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. That's a mouthful. You can call me Pela. Okay, I'm gonna do yes, that. 
<laughs> yes, Miss Pela. Perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting like children. Uh, uh, okay, guys. No. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopot. It was they that foresaw a crisis, built up our walls, and established Balabog. Preserving so the much spark lore of in this game, right? Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength. And huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together. The gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? Uh, am, I, am I not allowed to have a question? Any okay. questions? Yes. Does the monument have the any monument symbolic meaning? The monument is made up of two parts. A gear that you already said that knowledge during your speech. Strength. And what are the you blue mean, crystals? What are they made of? It's Geomero that's undergone a change in color. Geomero? The color of Geomero oh, so is sound like related to the environment temperature during its refinement. Uh, okay. The architects are followers of the Ian Klopot. It was they that foresaw the crisis, built up our walls, and so, established Bellabog. Bunch of brainiacs. Of human civilization. In your tower somewhere? Or, to okay. put it another way, the architects are Bellabog's founders and saviors. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Cool. That's a question for the scientific research division. Though they may not be able to give you a definitive answer. The Eternal Freeze is no ordinary natural disaster. Meteorological records from hundreds of years ago cannot explain the cause. To put it simply, it's a problem that has plagued Bellabog scientists for centuries. Interesting. And what about you guys? Take your time. We're not in a rush. Okay, bye. You know what I mean. Limestein's encounter? That was the guy over there. And the Landau's? The Ghosts? Doing too much can be a mistake. What are these guys talking about? Weird. Fancy. Never Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes machinery. the operative word. Ah, darn. I wanted to see one. Me too. Oh, I had been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? It's a good point. I was saying that earlier, and that it wouldn't be very effective outside. If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Distinctly oh, wow. dressed She's woman. Cool. Oh hey, it's the... Woman with the guitar that I got in... The, I think it was a free thing, free event thing. Hi there, the name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious about the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Uh, yeah. Huh? What's wrong with that? Everyone around here knows the way I work. Ah! I figured it out! I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? Maybe. What an honor! Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. 
Why is everybody so friendly to me? They're just like, hey, you guys came from the stars. Let's tell you everything. If you actually lived here, we would tell you nothing and, you know, chastise you. Uh, oh, there she is. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. Uh... The lizards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. But do they give off that much heat? It's what is Geomero? A special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero so grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld like mining oil? teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld oh. is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. So... It's literally However, Midgar it from Final Fantasy VII? Given many years ago. Nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Oh. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. So you guys don't interact anymore, or nobody's down there? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Wait, what? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, but it actually starts to make sense. That's not how heat no transfer. Oh, okay, whatever. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Which machine? This thing right here? Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Kinda looks like, uh... One of the things at the movies. Magnetoheological fluid threshold? I, that's not a real word, right? Magnet oreological. Magnetor... It's probably magnet oreological. I don't know. Uh, rotate modules to adjust circuits, direct power supply endpoint. Oh, okay, easy. Uh, edge of fixed modules will appear red when selected. Oh, okay, I see what it means. That's the source, that's where it can't be moved. Rotate the stuff. Go like this, go like this, like that. So that's, that's how it works. Um, can we, can we get a harder one? An old VCR machine. That... Okay. Wait, didn't I... Huh? Nice! I you guys I are pretty on handy. You picked that up in no time. Wanna be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Uh... Sure, <laughs> why not? Do you just say yes to everything? Maybe. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? Just wanted to do more of those mini My games. Workshop. Oh, toolbox. Oh. What is this thing up top? It's like a hand manual saw, maybe? It's cool. I like when video games like create things for their universe that are not really like ours. Like you can see some of the things for the design that can be similar to the tools that we have, especially like older, older tools. But I don't recognize any of those. Who knows? I might just not be. Um... What is this? these spinning gears be powering something for example maybe the workshop will stand up and turn into a giant robot that is quite the imagination my character has 
Covenant containing tools, it is said that the ability to make and use tools is the main difference between humans and animals. So I, that is generally something that we talk about. Uh, large gear, de just decoration, its rotation does not produce any effect. That odd, odd thing to decorate. See now, these tools, some of those for measuring, we do have. Although nowadays we use lasers and shit. Yes. Um, large gear. Alright, well, I thought maybe there'd be some sort of secret in here, but I guess not. Um, my Steam is attempting to self update. No. How about we close you? Thank you, Steam. We're getting in the way. Ooh, can I have tea? No? Okay. Yeah! Extending this heating network across the towering citadel must have been a huge effort for the designer. Ooh, another trash can! Two trash cans, one for recycling gar dry garbage, one for recycling wet garbage. Okay. Where would you throw pom-poms fur? Dry garbage? Doesn't easily degrade and isn't toxic, so it belongs in the dry garbage. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you immerse yourself in the joys of sorting garbage. Get what? I'm not allowed to buy anything or interact with you. Oh, hey, this one of those things. Oh, another trash can! Two trash cans. One stands glamorously shining, the other lies unceremoniously rusting. You want to help it up, but think better of it. Even trash cans have their dignity. Okay. Um. I don't have to go that way yet, I have to go over there. So we'll refrain from going- oh, what is this? Coffee signboard. There are tables, chairs, and a signboard. According to the signage and text, you can drink coffee here. I miss the taste I can use a coffee. coffee. Luggage pile. Attended precious luggage city has the exemplary virtual of not picking up things off the road. No, I'll, I'll, I care more about the trash can. What are you looking at? Things that were, things that are, and things that are yet to happen. I'm a good for nothing. Uh, I'm destined to end up in the trash can. You're quite a poet. Thank you. That was indeed my occupation. Forgot to introduce myself. My name is Ammo. I write things for a living. Sorry for blocking your way. Hmm, can we? I uh, help you with anything? So you're a writer? I'm afraid I don't deserve the title. I produce less than mediocre writings in great quantity for others. A ghostwriter, as they say. I doubt if I'm qualified to write it at all, even for the rubbish I produce. Let's talk about your works. What do you write, then? Wrote some horror novels. Uh, this guy's gonna talk a whole lot if he's a writer. Disaster fiction. Yeah, the uh, Tales of Winterlands. It was recently banned. Why was it banned? The publisher was actually quite happy. Oh, it's going too quickly because I have that thing on. They did not expect the author to simply vanish into thin air. The editors had to contact me instead, asking if I can help with the project. Ha, Tale of the Winterlands is just some cheap folklore compiled together. I give you 100,000 to 200,000 words with ease. Piece of carrot cake to me. That was my response when I took the job. You know how hard it is to finally get something going? It, I was just trying to impress them, but ended up getting way ahead of myself. One of the editors had sent me a copy. Yeah, this guy is going to talk forever about lore. I managed to avoid her each time because I couldn't just live her. How would you rate it? Masterpiece? Cool. Uh, yep, I, I'm i gonna have to just skip through most of the stuff you're saying here, Ammo. Don't give up, man. That's all I got. You were starting to uh, put me to sleep. Alright. 
Now for the real thing, trash can. Uh, tracing paper envelope black with silver lettering. If you found it next to a mailbox, you'd speculate that this flyer coupon was a love letter sent to the wrong address, but this is a trash can. Reads today is Guardian Lisa's birthday. Uh, four to three answers. It's, it's a chain letter. Uh, I wonder what happened to the person who threw it away. There's so much lore and random world building stuff, which is cool and all, but I really, really need intermittently to be able to hit things with a bat. But I love these trash cans. I got a burning smell and your nostrils as you approach the trash can. Uh oh. Trash can looks like it was set on fire. The entire tr can trash can is deformed with a layer of dark, scorched, ash like substance coating the bottom. In the light, you see the particles floating softly, almost dancing. I love that there is just a whole section of trash can lore. I'm all for it. Opening of the post box reveals two envelopes that are being kept in a delicate balance. Touching either will one will condemn the other to be swallowed by the pitch black maw. Such a dilemma falls in front of you. Uh, chaotic evil. Push them all in. Wait, it feels to do something good? What is this? Oh. Okay. I didn't think I was doing something good. I was just trying to, you know, push things. This is not too chaotic. It was putting it into the mailbox. Unattended luggage. There seems to be a lot of that going around in the city. Oh, is that like the heating thingy behind them too? It heats the whole building? Whoa! My eyeballs! Flashbang! Universe, time, and space, past and present, I'm onto something. Eureka! Remain silent. You didn't say anything good. Do not interrupt my research. First time seeing anyone doing research like this. It's a complicated matter, nothing like your everyday chores uh, that only require two brain cells. Hey, I have more than two brain cells to do all of my dailies in Lost Ark. I got like four brain cells, okay? that That's really all you need. All right, fair enough. Education, science is dead. Research on a big universe, the time tunnel. I ask I'd like to, what is the subject of research? Light is a particle. Um, is that so? I, I like that response. Uh, I mean, quantum wave theory is one of the things that I liked to study, but, um, go on. Uh, Exposed to information, big universe time tunnel theory. Here, my big universe time tunnel theory holds that the universe consists of multiple interconnected entities that are running in parallel. One universe I came up with ways to send messages on in my doppelganger and another universe knew how to intercept those messages. It means, according to my theory, that you can interpret messages sent from another universe. I mean, sure. How'd you come up with this? Something, something, something. Uh, life work. Are you really a scientist? Uh, jealous, old, <laughs> jealous old nerds and hags and bellabogs. Ca academic circle refuse to recognize me only because my revolutionary findings will make them look useless. All right, man, you're you're droning on a lot. Did you not receive academic training? Da, 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 da. Self-righteous nerds. They keep calling them nerds, but I mean, uh, in my name, Reagan will go down in history as the greatest civilian scientist. All right, I'm calling it a day, bud. <laughs> That's your eighth dish. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are just eating up the fact that every single, like, NPC that you come across seems to have, like, a whole backstory and everything, but, like, it's a lot. A lot to take in. Um, have you read today's Crystal Daily? What kind of news is that? If the media keeps going on like this, Balrog will eventually be doomed. What does that have to do with me? Uh, well, we don't, because I'm not from here. 
I need water. <clears throat> Toss junk. Don't make it sound so extreme. Uh, I don't really follow the news, both in the game and in real life, okay? Yeah, stop giving me a lecture. I'm listening. I swear I'm listening. Something about reading a newspaper. What's the paper say? Today, the Ministry of Culture and Education, Mr. Bova, attended. Bova is my father. Uh, okay. I'm, uh, Direwolf Spirits. Is it going to be like an achievement for talking to all these people? Or should I just stop talking to them? Why do you think I'm a rich kid? I'm not. I think you're just bored. I'm just going to remain silent now. You have a problem with everyone, don't you? Alright, buddy. Sure, they reached the conclusion after weighing all the costs. Are you going to pay for the renovation of all the pipes? Sure. Yeah, I'm... I need to hit Weather something with a baseball nice. bat, man. Soon. This is too much world building for me. I'm too much of a meathead that likes to hit things. Um... I would like to reserve your... I would like to try your afternoon tea. Hey, man. I'm down for a drink. Just a drink of water in real life. Have a tea in the game. Uh, when do I get to up, up, eat up? Gweth. Something, something. Gweth family's prosperous. Poor economics. Family declined. Any special guests, lady, rich families uh, on the second floor in their pajamas. No one ever heard from her since. Oh, she jumped out the window. Spam through all of this nonsense. Okay. I already talked to you, and I really don't want to talk to you again. Can I go up here? Stuff. This door is open. Stuff. More stuff. Oh. What's this? <laughs> Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is based on all the signals coming in from your sensory organs. <laughs> Perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute, scent? How is scent a measurement of how good a closet is? I mean, you can smell wood, man, or like the varnish on it, so. Doesn't matter, it smells good. Yeah, see the varnish, it smells good. It's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it is a miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial, a marvel of chemical engineering. It is so alluring that all you want to is to get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. I'm going in. Let's go, closet. Left foot, right foot, turn around, take a deep breath. Darn it, why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm and then close the door in one smooth move. <laughs> Bang. You've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all of this. Hmm, this place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you will eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. I want out. It's... yes. That's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be a real deal. I mean, this is still way better than talking to that guy outside. Oh. The real deal is coming? Just think about it. Now take a guess. Whose footsteps are those? R room service. Use your imagination. No, that's not room service. That's the ghost hotel's resident devil. It hibernates in dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on innocent and vulnerable outsiders. You picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the universally renowned trailblazer. 
the guardian deity of Herta Space Station, the Doomsday Beast, um, Doom. Yep, today is the day you purge evil for the greater good. Is this an inner monologue that's happening right now, or is the closet talking to me? It doesn't seem to be dark in the closet. The light of valor illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Room service, anyone there? All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by Klepoth. You are prepared. Um, I'm gonna come in now, okay? Now, devil, meet your judgment. Uh, bang the closet door slams open. <laughs> Die, you hotel devil! Ah, what the heck? <laughs> Attacking room service. You and the ghost hotel devil is now banished, and this land is now purified. The devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as your reward for your in intrepidity. I actually just got something for doing that. That's amazing. See, why, why can't, like, I have cool stuff like that over talking to that dude for what felt like an hour? I'm gonna seek out more of that stuff. Oh. Corridor lighting? Is it not heating? Let me out! Let me out! Wait. Does this go to the exact same hallway? It does. I don't like that. That's, that's weird. I don't, I don't understand why they would have two that go to the same location. Alrighty. Where are we going? Where are we going? This way. Oh, is it a trash can? Trash can! Someone threw a book into the crash trash can. You pick it up. It seems to be a lengthy serial novel by the name of Tales of the Witcher's Lands. It's that guy's book. You seem to have the incomplete fourth volume in your hands. Oh, I actually just got it. I obtained it. Yo, what up? Blockade line? Over the love of, looks like it really is. This is a statue? Still a person. Uh huh. Yeah. So nappy at your rebel, apparently you didn't welcome your approach. I have a, a sweet female voice. How about we explore the area later? It's a reference to Genshin's Paimon. If you get to fist this. <laughs> they offended some loser, got demoted, thrown out in the cold. Wait, is this definitely a person? Don't tell me it's a statue. Not for the love of it. It looks like a statue. Still a person. How many things do they have in this? Obeying silent order to go away. Yeah, how about we explore the area ahead of us later? It's Paimon. Seen better days. Saw so someone post a sausage between two bits of bread here. <laughs> Maybe they were using it as a trash can. We gotta touch all the trash cans. Phone booth. Yeah, this phone booth, you feel like you could transform into a superhero. You stand next to the booth and start thinking about the fantasy shows you used to watch, you can't help wondering how ripping your shirt off in a phone booth would feel. Uh... Just love how just every object you touch has like 18 friggin' lines. Nice. Trash cans. It's just a trash can. What? Uh, a trash can. Once you were feeling down on your luck, you thought the two of you were a good match. This doesn't seem much point. Don't get close. It's just a trash can. Aww. Most of the trash cans have been really good. Oh. What's this? Storekeeper? Oh. 
Yeah, I'll just take that book from you. Don't mind me. What do you got? What are you selling? Uh... I don't... I mean, I got lots of this money. Should I be buying all these things? Available for three hours. Is this... Hey, it's a song. I'll take a song. Um... Should I be buying these? I got a lot of this, but I don't know if I'm gonna stop getting a lot of it, but you know what? Basic ingredients? Hey, the enemies dropped those at one point. Metal. I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> Just wasting all my uh, credits. Oh, so why do these guys take credits? They're from a different planet. Feather of Plane? Synthesis materials. Is there a buy all button? Cool, I can't buy this. Recipe. Is there a synthesizer here somewhere? Oh, <laughs> I thought this was trash nobody wanted. Thanks for buying it. Well, I mean, no problem. Uh, okay. Are you asking me? No, I don't see anybody else. Strict a sense of taste and utilize synthesization. Rich sauces, uh, invading army, surrender and defeat. A little too wordy? Uh, yes, a lot of unnecessary details. I used to be a literary journalist. Uh, every day I was trying to add more adjectives to the sentence anywhere I could fit them. Oh, it feels like that they do that in just about everything in this game. New girl came and was better at filing in, filling in words than I was. Uh, Crystal Daly, your author of that section. Okay, garbage ray. Blah, 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 blah. Can we talk? I don't, I don't want to. About writing? Uh, sure, let me just spam through these things because I feel like I'm going to get some sort of achievement for talking all the way through. Now, about food, that's that's a better subject. I'm not mad at you, I'm simply stating facts. Bellabog is not a huge place with a huge variety of food. I mean, they got ice and snow. Red sunset salmon might be worth trying. Precious salmon from the administrative district. Uh, when you taste it, you remember for your life. Da, 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 da. Naming the food, something, something, something. Okay. Okay. Testing even my patience at this point. Uh, white letter hidden in its shadow. Put it in the mailbox. Oh, look. I'm being a good Samaritan again. Where's this bell tower? Technology staff? What's wrong? I mean, <laughs> why are you yelling? Should have lost my temper. Showed up bad time. Consultant. I'm me. Uh, not the mood for small talk, Ball. Well, I wanted to ask you are you always this grumpy? <laughs> I mean, clearly you're not on a bad date. There's nobody else here. What do you do? Something, something. Be smart. Don't do physical labor. Okay. And what's bothering you? You just want some fresh air. Okay. So, this friend of mine... Here we go, some audio. Uh, okay, you didn't actually say... Oh. New rules, heavy fines for jaywalking across railway lines? I mean, it's just safety. 
Yay, another trash can. Be something funny. Nice looking trash can, but that's all it really is. A trash can. Aw. Oh, I got pleasant looking trash. Alright. We're going over here. Uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the fragmentum, right? I can't Sweet. believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... But my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... There's a trash can behind me. The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. I really hope I can break Fragmentum Corrosion with my baseball bat. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! I bet you I'm gonna walk in there and break that thing so that it's safe for them. Right? But first, trash can. Small, a strong stench as you approach the trash, the trash can. Almost as if there were some strange, twisted, dark purple aura surrounding it. Protesting in no uncertain terms. No living entities permitted. Wait, what? You gonna open it? Uh, yeah. While your astonished companions look on, you hold your breath and proceed towards the can like a soldier charging into a hail of bullets. Wait, why are you so interested in rooting through every trash can in the city? What do you have to gain? CHARGE! You decided to open the lid of the can with a determined mind. At your first glance, you saw that strange, stinky thing. Suddenly, like an old monk sitting in concentrated introspect, introspection, you reach out and grab it. However, you failed to reach enlightenment given that your companions just ran for cover holding their noses. I got literal trash as a reward. Can I help you guys? Maybe? Let me pass. I'm not afraid to die. I've lost everything. Everything. Except your life. You still have that. Oh. I actually can go in there after I unlock the requirements. It's up there. Wait. It was already up there. I have to check for trash cans on this side. Quick. Oh. And treasure chests. I mean, treasure chests are good too, but trash cans like that one behind it are even better. You may have noticed that, yes, there are an unbelievable number of trash cans in the city. Somebody did once produce two... Wait. Somebody did once pro... Oh, propose to reduce. Oh, no. Only an increased the amount of garbage on the street. Now people in the city have come to the consensus that trash cans are Bellabog's other business card. Nice. And I'm going to touch them all. I haven't been over here yet. There's a treasure chest. What do you want? Oh, he's a lecturer. Uh, no, please don't lecture me. Just give me whatever rewards for talking to everybody. Oh, he's even preaching. Please, no. That's enough. Thank you. Basic treasure. It's a... Uh... Water looks a little bit teal for me. Cool tepid water you can see through the ripples at the bottom of the fountain has metal coins strewn about. Looks like the locals use this as a kind of wishing pool. Clearly I'm gonna count how much money there is. If you're so bored that you decide to count the money on the floor of the fountain and bored is putting it lightly. There are loads of weird stuff floating down there and there are more coins that can be counted. We need more scientific method. Uh, use scientific notation, try utilizing the principles of com computer graphics? What? 
use a scientific no notation. You understand this, but still decide to give yourself a little challenge. Just like that, the numbers tumble through your brain with their limitless, profound meaning. And then you reach the final count, 107 coins. Is this number pertinent? Perhaps you write it down, but then again, the number might change later on. I mean... Toss a coin in and make a wish. Local coin make a wish as it flips through the air. Afterwards, the coin sinks down into the water. I mean, just another unremarkable reflection among all the others. You patiently wait for your wish to come true. A long time passes, but nothing at all happens and ends with, up with a fistful of nothingness. What's the last option? Fish the treasure out of the fountain. Uh... There's no guards around, right? Hey, what are you serious? This is a plaza in full view of public. Take one back step, big step back there, here, even if nobody saw you. It's a public anonymity. Can your conscience prevent you from doing this? You get it? Seeing as this is such a creative idea, just go ahead and do it, but do so at your own risk. Please submit the required items. Ooh, what? Am I putting one of these in the fountain? Recycled. Big saying that this fountain really does have everything in it, just like the ancient treasure tombs of the thing you somehow find amidst those ripples solid water. Makes sense to find it inside a wishing well, I suppose. The Kelly game? What is that? Am I supposed to put these in there? What is the Kelly game? Not that one. How about this one? Excavate the treasure hidden in the Bellabog Administrative District's fountain. Okay. Can I do that again? I hope I don't need these elsewhere. Jim Roger Bread Soda? Distinguished core. Okay. Neat. Is there any more trash cans? I'll see you at the usual place this weekend. Oh yeah. Something about getting exposed, doing cover story, the uh enthusiastic man. Two minutes of your time can save you from future losses. Stinky kid with dark blue hair ever come up to talk to you? Uh, isn't that Sampo? Uh oh. Tutorial on preventing scams written by him. Can I ask a question? Members of the association. Oh. The association are people that have been scammed by him. You were scammed. Hmm. Parallel Universe Printer. Alright, you got swindled for something really dumb. It doesn't matter how much I paid. He's upset. Let's we'll just... about another lens? Parallel Universes actually exist. Alright, I'm leaving. Is there trash cans down here? Is that the way I came from? That is the way I came from. But I came from... That side, right? Yeah. I can't give her money? some town Ooh, flower shop collect what am I collecting that thing I'll take this one I'm just here to steal all your books okay nobody seems to care about their books uh something something hello items obtained warm sun 
thinks, I guess. Flowers, colors, yada yada yada. Marquee is an expensive flower. First snow is uh, eight pounds. White tips. Something about bamboo. Other ones. Oh my lord, there is so many. Rainbow. One you just mentioned. I learned a lot today. Thanks for the warm sun thing. I'm leaving now. It's been. <laughs> Forever since I've hit something with my bat. Another trash can! Heck yeah! Overwhelmingly fishy smell emanates from the trash can as you remove the lid. Instead of fish, you find only a fish related flyer. Is this how synth synth synesthesia works? Oh, I got a book. Taking this. Using the bookstore? Hey, you got books to sell? Didn't I already buy all those? Oh no. Here's some more. Do you have anything else to say that I care about? Da -da 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 -da. Something something books. Hey, fantasy. Yeah, I'm done. Wait. That's the way I came from. Go. Oh, what's this? I've achieved something. Is it talking to way too many things? Collecting readables. Okay. Hey man, currency is currency. It allows me to get uh, more pulls. There's gotta be a trash can down here, right? Trash can. Trash can! Yeah! Large paper ball. Upon unfolding, you find it contains wrinkled scraps of paper. I hereby tender my resignation on this, my final day of work. I, here, uh, I wish to be frank. Generally speaking, my job is uninteresting, and so. Did, are they just complete? Are they repeating everything? And therefore has no meaning. Meaning was spelt wrong. Forget it, time for work. Two typos away from a new career. Hey, treasure. Hey, buddy, can I, uh... Is this the, uh, same, yeah, same thing as the other area? Yo, can I get, uh, can I get, like, a grape soda? Oh. Um. Consume limes? Oh. For next battle. On use immediately heals one selected downed character for 5% of their max HP. Yo, I need these. Um, 15% of max HP plus 150 extra? Yeah. Potions! That's basically what they are. Cover two technique points for the team. Eh, I might need those at some point. Seems all these shops reset once a day. Um, because the daily reset should be around in three hours, I think. Uh, this one here is just like a one-time available, I guess? Buy everything out, that way you don't have to come back. I need to get level 14 so I can get all these recipe things. Locked gate. Ice cold. Yo, look at these dinky little cars. Is it just like a one person car? Cold to the touch. Wait. What did that say? Dry heat you need to an engine that is going full, full throttle. That, that's sorry. I'll move it right away. Yeah, you're not supposed to be parked here. Please don't give me a ticket. That's not gonna cut it. I do things by the book. Is he bribing me? Oh, wow. I don't know what shields are, but um, 5,000 cash 
to bribe me not to do anything. You look special. Thanks. I hear that a lot. Uh, your dress isn't normal. Yada yada yada. Zoology. Should I ask about zoology? What creatures are there in Bellabog? Cats and dogs. Wait, what? There are wolves and birds in the wild, that's about it. You'll have to check out the museum specimens to see what other kinds of animals there were in the past. Well, I was ex expecting something cool on a frigid ice planet. Domesticated bears, dire wolves. Okay. Right, I'm an alien. In the clouds. Why don't you go look for them? I just can't be bothered to read literally a novel from every single NPC anymore. Uh, let's see if there's any trash cans up here real quick. And then I'm going to the quest marker. Because I really, really need to hit something. Yeah, trash can! Two trash cans. We already did this. Where would you throw a coconut husk? This is different. Coconut husk? I mean, it's dry. Uh-huh. Thank you. What's this one want? Letter sticking out. Push it in. I don't know one of those things. I wonder if I'm supposed to use those anywhere. Or if it's just to be put in the fountain. Trash can. Leisurely elegance to the trash can, so it exudes commanding confidence. It may have something to do with a letter fragment in its possession. Oh. Cool. Any more trash cans? There's one over here. Nervous man. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, okay. If the Iron Gate can talk? Are you on the lamb? What does that mean? Ah, okay. Uh, back alley, ghostly things going on in the back alley. Do, 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 do. Just open the gate, man. Man up ahead mutters some confusing words as his head shakes incessantly before disappearing in the shadows of the theater. Interesting. Let me in! Let me in! Renowned performer. Don't leave me alone. Take me with you. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Don't mind me. I just want some free stuff that you apparently gave me. Hey, there's a trash can I didn't notice. How did I not notice that? Sorry, I don't really care what you have to say right now because trash can? Uh, musical performer, something, something, act in a play, kind of project. There's a whole lot of talking with these random NPCs that don't matter. The RPG gamer in me won't let me not do it though. Copy of the Crystal Daily with Supreme Guardian Concordia on the front page, surrounded by Silverman guards, crumpled paper ball. With their flowers, thermal dome, do do do. Oh. Did that just. That just give me some sort of achievement for having gone through every trash can? <laughs> I think that's what that just said. Uh. Jim Rod. Oh. Never mind, I got. A soda. Why do I feel like there's a thing in here that just says touch all of the things? Tennis score. Cool. Alright. Did those trash cans. Is there anything over here? No. Over here? Did I do this trash can? I did not! Good as new. Nice. Oh my lord. 
stroke the trash can. Never seen anything this clean before. This trash can is like the universe's very incarnation of purity. Maybe we're going too far. I have to stroke the trash can. It's too pure. You stretch your hand out and gently stroke the trash can. A soft, tender, smooth, unconstrained, and tactile sensation travels up your fingertips. Why have I suddenly made myself obsessed with trash cans? You feel a great sense of satisfaction, like that of some fairy tale princess who's just woken up from a night's sleep on nine mattresses stacked on top of each other. All concern, exhaustion, and sense of duty fly away. There's no doubt about it, this is the world's most beautiful trash can. What's up? What's in there? What's with your expression? Nothing. You decided to tell her. <laughs> you wouldn't understand, March. You wouldn't understand my love for trash cans. Alright, I think I have finally touched every trash can. Oh, what is that? Something on the ground. Hey, who are you? No matter who you are, can you please just get out of our way? You've been stepping on the door to our base for a long... Oh. The man who ever can talk now? I'm Mikel. Hi, Miko. I should have clicked the other one. Manhole covers now have names? So, bruh, can you please move your feet away from our door? As long as you're stepping on our door, the alarm in our base won't stop ringing. Get it? What if I just stay put? What can you do about it? Well, it's not like I can force you to do anything, but you'd better be prepared to stay put for a long time until I thoroughly run out of patience. Thankfully, I already brought, bought a stack of sun cakes. Let's see who's going to outlast the other. Mm, extra cheese, yummy. All that can be heard down in the sewer is just munching sounds. I'm curious if you stand here for a really long time, if it does something. Right? No, there's no way. They have had a lot of little Easter eggs in this game, though. Hmm. Well, I had a sip of water. That was about the most time that I can can give to standing on that, so. Sit, sit on the bench. Wait, you must. Your heart must be as cold as the benches in Bellabog. A poet has written in the Bellabog during winter. Okay. Let's continue on. Because, you know, our trash can adventure. Hope I didn't miss any in this area. There's no way. I went around the entire edge. Oh man, I can't believe I just walked around the entire city talking to random NPCs that just would not be quiet and touching so tired. trash cans. Specifically, stroking the last one. On a and drift off. Don't talk like that, March. It'll make me sleepy in real life. Wow, what a beautiful lobby! It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. We can only hope. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> How old are you? But yes, that sounds fun. March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort... Were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Ecolia. Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Are they now? So, did you notice anything? Nope. She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Yeah, it's a front. Although, 
it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm. I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have Creepy. to put it like that? That's scary. Must have been the invisible man. Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. The voice acting is spot on in this game. Like, usually the English dubs are not the greatest, but um, like in, in most games in general, but they, they seem to have a lot of passion in their uh, voice actors and actresses. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. Oh, don't worry. I left no trash can untouched. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. I've got a bad feeling. I kind of well, do. don't talk about it then. <laughs> Let's get to bed early okay. and save our energy. Sorry. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Yeah, it is this room. I've already touched the thing. Oh. Wait, the Stellaron has a voice? What are you? Teenage girl. This is a creepy voice combo. What do you want? To I literally read that as achieve your trash. I got trash cans on my mind still. That's a interesting flower. Hey, did you hear that? Um, There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. They don't like me oh, now. This is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. So it's baseball bat time. All I see is their helmets. Can't always be friendly on the job, you know. Maybe they're not here to escort us. Yeah. Huh. You must have had some miserable jobs. Oh, I have. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. No Are tricks, we huh? In a lot of trouble. Get the baseball bat ready. There's a whole lot of guards. Wait. Didn't I already get all these treasure chests? Suspects, stop running around and go see Commander Aww. Branya. Suspects? But. Treasure. And trash cans? No, the trash cans are still the same, but. Those treasure chests have respawned, or maybe they're new? Huh? It's you! You were there at the fort! I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. As oh, yeah. agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. 
Baseball bat says otherwise. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. <laughs> That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Donung, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. We're talking Watch. in the open in front of them. Be all. ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Uh, nah, we have a I'm not going with them. Strange trio indeed. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? That's uh, three, Let's two, get one. Going. Ace! Oh yes, I got to hit him with my baseball bat. That guy's jaw is not gonna feel too good. Oh. Have an ice day. <laughs> that was so corny. I love it. Did we just go into another dimension? Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. Overconfident. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. She's coming in. Yes, ma'am. What? Eradicate all threats to Bellabog security. That is what I must do. But you're not... You're not coming in after us, are you? You're just gonna stand there and wait? by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Hmm. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Please tell me I get to hit things with my bat now. So this goes back. Hmm. Well, that's not way, the way we want to go. Is there any trash cans around here? Uh, what's that thing? So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ugh, the cheek! That woman had a trouble. I keep interrupting their speech because I see things to hit. A one -time name of Landau, I need it. I need the hitting. Pardons the will. We shall never fall. Time for some sword play. Strike with heart. A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars. So she shoots four times and it's random. That's interesting. How about this? Oh yeah. I hope you're prepared. Everything is ordained by the stars. Um, I'm not gonna waste that right now. Actually, can I can I can I cancel that? Uh oh. 
Is there no way to cancel? Oh, profound oh, secret to the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Blade in flight! I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's this thing again. I've already almost recovered all of that. Let's do three challenge waves. And let's take a support. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I got this with my own characters. Uh, I think you actually get... I think he gets stuff if I take him, so I'm gonna take him. So, how many of my moves can you block? Mm -hmm. Strike with heart! This is our chance. main character he's pretty sick looks like somebody needs a doctor um yeah kill jeopard you have my oh. gratitude you will know justice the die is cast Oh, it bounces. I hope you're prepared. Really? That didn't kill him. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall. Any of my moves can you block? Justice. So she has a single target heal that bounces and an AoE heal? That's pretty strong. Get frozen. Yeah. Oh, or just die. Or soon. Okay, so you get more rounds if you put in more of that uh, like resin-like stuff. I like that. Rather than having to do like multiple battles, you can just add more rounds to it. Gonna do more damage. You will know justice. Maybe I can freeze this guy. Ah, oh, consistent. In the 
name of Landau. Years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! does no maybe it heals and gives a buff of some sort I saw something pop up last time you have my gratitude invigoration so maybe a regen enemies were like level 16. That's probably why I'm not, you know, wrecking them. Blade in flight. This is our chance. What about this? Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> Ooh, 290 crit. All right. Use up a bunch of that stuff. Uh, oh, no. Critical object? Yeah. I'm gonna wreck it. Um, that way versus this way? What's this way? Ooh. Level 20 fragmentum. Uh, sounds like it might be a little bit tough for level 11. Let's, um, let's even the odds a little bit here. What happens when I max this out? Get to awaken or whatever it was called? Ascend. Oh. Okay. That's unfortunate. Um, well, let's level everybody up a bit. I'll leave like one level so that I can gain XP from fights, I think, still? Level 19 to level 20. Everybody's fully restored. Uh, let's start with a shield. I'm with you. Oh no! He swings faster. I got ambushed. Good thing I got that shield off. So, how 
How many of my moves can you block? Strike with heart! Hm. Scared yet? <laughs> A gift from the stars. Main character can't break any of these dudes. Yeah. Is that all? Break it again. Strike with heart. Hm, scared him. Look out. Oh, sure, shot the other guy. Okay. Everything is ordained by the stars. So oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Just kind of gives me the like a time mage from Final Fantasy uh, vibes. Yeah. You will know justice. Uh, yeah. Kill that thing before it gets to attack. Are made to be broken. Wonder how your face will stand up to a baseball bat. It didn't. I hope you're prepared. Time for some sword play. Blade in flight. Oh, there's a second so, round. How many of my moves can you block? Descend. <laughs> A one time enemy. Uh, nobody's weak to fire on this one. Who's next? He's up next. Uh, I'll do it all. <laughs> Let's go. Swing a debasable, but 360 total damage. Wow. Break you with a freeze. Just a scratch. The shield's uh, starting to wear off on everybody. Scared yet? <laughs> that didn't do a whole lot. That uh, did do a whole lot. Strike with heart. Trying to like whittle them down with the single target guy and AoE with the others. While freezing this big thing. He's gonna get another turn. Look out! Who's this one? Is it this guy? That guy is. Yeah, we'll just Blade go. in flight! Better up! <laughs> Alright. A little bit wounded on uh, Yanshin, but. A little goes a long way. Stuff. Breakable stuff, too. Uh, yeah, we already went that way. Down here. Health? A little bit of health. I'm with you. Punch him in the back. So, how 
How many of my moves can you block? Strike with heart. <laughs> Scared yet? Mm. Auto heal. <laughs> Let's make it quick. In the name of Landau. Prevent some Here's damage here. Hardens the will. We shall never fall. Also, practice is over. Rooting this guy's down. Swords descend. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. We can't tell you that. Unawares. Place of treasure. Let's just open the gate. Nice. Not sure why I would need that again. But... All right. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need the. Oh, she has a ranged attack. Oh, that could get wrecked. A one-time enemy. Blade in flight. That guy got really wrecked. <laughs> a gift from the stars. All right then. What about this? Well, that was a very easy battle. The stars will always remember oh, us. Can. Oh, I can't interact with it. Some more of these things. Oh, hey, nothing healed me. Sweet. Over here, treasure. Wait, there are silver main guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. I can just hit him with a baseball bat, though. Oh, Wait. it's just... It's must have we should avoid an open... Alright, if you insist. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Yes. We saw I already we opened the gate with this. Out of time. Oh, okay, it's a mechanism. That was way too easy. Can you get one of those, but way more complicated, please? Do I have this already? Q. Oh, those guys got destroyed. Uh, we're gonna boost everybody's speed first. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. And I'm gonna strike with ice at you. <laughs> Scared yet? Uh, see if I get lucky with a bounce. Who's the lucky one today? Yep, there goes one. And then we. Yeah. Then uh, hit him with the home run. Are made to be broken. Come right in the face. See, this, this is how you take zero damage. Thunder? Read. Stuff. Stuff. We should avoid an open con. Oh man, are they guarding anything over there though? There's a crate that I could open. Oh well. Huh. Hit him with that fire weakness. That does so much more damage. A one time enemy. Blade in flight! Bounce. A gift from the stars. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> no, I don't have a ranged attack to initiate things. So um, I don't see a switch better. for the gate. Uh-huh. 
There's okay. a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Like all of the other ones I've been killing? Oh, consumables. Path Gauntlets. Increase attack for one battle. Sure. Since you're making me use it anyway. Uh-huh. Alright. Hey, guess what? Oof. Oh. Well, they didn't get startled or anything. That's unfortunate. I'm trying to freeze those guys. Strike with heart. Scared yet? Who's the lucky one today? Ah, one more to hit that, that. Everything is ordained by the stars. Use a bunch of things. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Speed up. And I'm also gonna do this. To this guy. Swords descend. I really like that. Like the ultimates kind of play with the <laughs> turn order, quick. so you can kind of like do different things. Like a three created created a situation where that fight caused me to take zero damage. It's nice. Got rewarded for the strategy. Oh, no puzzle. I was hoping for a puzzle. Uh, what is that? Circuit structure. Ooh, puzzle. I was just hoping for one of these. Um. Follow the instructions on the panel and confirm the exploration path. Let me take a look at its control panel. Uh, one sec, floating robot guy, because I don't think I'm supposed to. Oh! Are you going to make this easier or something? Oh. I'll be back for you. Where are you going? Oh, you'll wait for me. Okay. I'm gonna go fight this. Right after I grab some collectibles. Oh, yeah. This is happening. Um, I need something you're weak to. We're gonna give ourselves you. some defenses. And then we're gonna smash you in the face. <laughs> or in the foot. Didn't really hit in the face. Really? That's all I did. Yep. Very glad I put that shield up. A strong adversary. Help me employ it in flight. Take care of the little guy first. Uh, I'll keep that. Keep that extra action point. Let's see if I can freeze you. It's almost broken. I'm still okay. But they're not gonna be. Rules are made to be broken! You have to change your welcome! Strike with heart! A guest with no man? <laughs> Let's go. I hope you're prepared. Break him with this. Or freeze him. That works too. A one time blade in flight. He's got a lot of health. I don't remember inviting you. Look out. Let's make it quick. 
It's like her each stack increases up to five stacks. Right, cause she's my buffer. Uh, I'm going to attack. Freeze you. No. In the name of Lenda. Please put on some new shields. Years of cold. Pardons the will. We shall never fall. Strike with heart. A guest with no Practice manners, huh? Over. Swords descend. I really like these tough enemies. <laughs> One more fun. <laughs> From just the crasher enemies. <laughs> okay, we're all okay. Uh, he's got an attack boost. Stars. Oh no. Oh, I've got a speed boost. Let's go. Casting my time magic. And now you're broken. This ends here. Blade in flight. That was a big hit. Look out. Yeah. Hey, I activated that before he could go. Uh, rules are made to be broken. Just gotta spam the button. Oh, so close. I was hoping. Oh, I forgot about that. The break damage. It's like a bleed. Such a big treasure chest. Da 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 da. Looks good. Who's this? Oh, data bank. I have that on somebody. Um, where did I have that on? I believe the light cones, it was on you. Pants. Uh, superimpose. Oh. After entering battle, it increases attack of allies by 11%. I get three of these? Wait. Nine go. For three additional levels, I go from nine to. That's only plus two percent. That seems odd. Huh. Do you get anything from this? No, you just get stats. A lot of stats, mind you, but I don't want to do any of that yet. Not until I. Do some pulls later on. Tutorials, consumables, achieved. Do this real quick. I got stuff. Cool. Give me more of these. Oh, I wonder if that full restores. Should have used my restore. Keep bit. at it. Keep at it. Okay, Mr. Robot. Take me to wherever you're... Take me to your leader! I hope it's not a squadron of robots. Uh, guys? I think he's taking us back to those guards. This was a setup. Oh? Oh! Alright then. That was pretty cool. Oh. Treasure. Alright. So you... Oh. Actually, I just healed, so... Let's see if it at least gives me two. So it definitely gives you two. That's quite the ambush. Had time to set up an ambush. Oh, you dare underestimate what? me. <laughs> Even 
though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Okay. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. I don't want to. Ugh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? Well, I mean, and you could have committed a lot of murders. That, that's usually... She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Uh... Huh, what a no. Two okay. Two-faced head. insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. Can I please say no? We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Alright. I like the way but Dan's thinking. No escape. Then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. You guys were warned. Now I've got to break your face. Time for some sword play. Have Do some I swords. With heart. <laughs> Scared yet? <laughs> a gift from the stars. Really? Let's really make it quick. Much. I think he's gonna get shattered anyway. Huh. Not shattered. Damage from being frozen. Yeah. Blade in flight. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> Let's go. Better up. You will know justice. Yeah, another freeze. So, how many of my must strike? With heart. Got a couple ultimates. Lady Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers myself. She has a gun. I got him with a bayonet on. Hey. Strong oh. adversary, help me improve. Blade in flight. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> A guest with no manners, huh? Who's the lucky one today? In the name of Landau. A nice big shield. Pardons the will. We shall never fall. Critical. Weakness protection has been dispelled. Oh, cool. Now she's weak. At least two of them. Stop right there. Oh. Time for some sword play. I don't remember inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. It's like, it's like, it's like casting haste on the whole group. I like it. Time for you to get broken. This ends here. The die is cast. Uh, Matter up. Are made to be broken. I don't think I can one shot her here. Nope. So, how many of my moves strike with heart? Fight with me. 
for reinforcements. Whatever will I do? I hope you're prepared. Oh, guess with no manners, huh? She has that buff, I think. <laughs> In the name of Landau, years of cold. Well, I took a shot and then I saw a green. We shall never fall. Maybe, maybe it's just wind damage. So, how many of my moves can you block? Ha! Who's the lucky one today? You will know justice. I'm confused. What did she do? She give him another turn or something? Strike with heart. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> Inviting you. <laughs> A gift from the stars. I think we won. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? Oh? You first. You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Hey, it's Ampo. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I have one thing to say. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Uh, knockout gas? They will suffer. Oh, so was that song like chanting Sampo? Because of so my order. Says Sam, says the Sampo. Uh, what? What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me. As a tyrant. You have last witnessed the world we have promised. A tentacle carries misunderstanding over an eternity of prosperity. Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't he woken up yet? Because he's sound asleep. Didn't you hear him sleep talking? Poor child, sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... Are these people, like, from under You're the plate? You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke the was underworlders? I was in a daze before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back? How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? I feel like he and wants another something. another thing, 
Where does Wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Hmm. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. Alright, well that's probably a good spot to uh, stop this episode of the long play. So stay tuned for next time while we uh, explore the underground and uh, see why uh, the people upstairs are being all crazy.